YouTube is not only a great place to upload and share your videos, but it's also a great place to be able to edit your videos. In order to use the YouTube video editor, we'll first have to visit YouTube.com. When we get to YouTube, we'll need to make sure that we're signed in under our Google Apps for Education account. Now that you have signed in, we can select the Upload button, and then scroll down to select the Video Editor. Now, inside the Video Editor, you can see a couple tools at the top. First, you have the videos that show up in your YouTube account. You can also search for Creative Commons videos. These are videos that people have posted to YouTube with Creative Commons license to allow other people to use and edit for their own personal videos. Next is the Photos button. This will allow you to add photos to your videos. You can either select photos from your Google account or upload new photos and insert them right into your project. Next is the audio tool. You can search for audio tracks based on different genres, different moods, and different instruments that you can use for free inside of your YouTube videos. Next is the transitions. To insert a transition, all you have to do is drag it from this bar into the video section. And finally, we have text. To add a title, you can simply drag it from here into the timeline. Now, to begin using all of these different tools, let's see an example. When I click on my videos, I get my videos that appear that will allow me to insert into the timeline. All I need to do is either select and drag the video into my timeline, or I can click this little plus button and it will add it immediately. Now, once I have a video clip in my timeline, I can select my video and I can choose to trim it from the beginning and from the end. This will allow me to select the perfect clip that I need for my project. Now since I have two video clips, I'll probably want to add a transition. So I'm going to select my transition tool and I'm going to add just a simple crossfade in between these two video clips. Now, I have a two second crossfade in between my first video clip and my second video clip. But I can also adjust the time of my crossfade. Maybe I want it only one second. I can adjust it here, and I can select both of my video clips to adjust them as well. Now, let's say I want to add a title. I can select the title button, and maybe I want a centered title. So I'll select and drag that to the beginning of the clip, and I can edit my text here. I can say video project title. I can change my font. I can make it bold, italic. I can change my size and I can even change my color. Finally, I can change my background color. Maybe I want a white background with black text. Now, it's time to add some sound. I'll click on the audio button and select a music track that I might want to use for my video project. By hovering over each of the music tracks, I can choose to preview them by clicking on the play button. I can directly add it by clicking the plus button. Or I can simply select and drag into the audio timeline. In addition, I can also choose to trim this sound clip however I need. I can also change the volume and I can adjust the pan, the bass, and the treble. The last tool that you might want to look at is the Creative Commons videos. By doing a quick search, I could scroll, preview the video that I want, and then I could just insert this video clip into my project, and I can use it because it's Creative Commons license for free to use and modify however I'd like. Another neat tip is that for each video clip, I can add a couple of quick fixes, such as auto fix, I can stabilize my video, I can add a pan and zoom, I can adjust the brightness, and I can also make it slow motion, up to eight times the regular speed. 
can also choose to rotate my video clip left to right, and I can add things such as different color filters, text, and audio. When I'm finished with my video project, I can come up to the top and add my title to the video, such as finished video project. And when I'm finished, I will select publish, and my video is published and ready to be viewed and shared. So, the next time you have to do a video project, consider using YouTube Editor for a clean and easy video editing experience.